thank you very much everyone and uh, thank you very much especially the presto community very excited to be here and i would like to share a couple of slides before i go to the demo of this particular tool so we are talking about drag and drop query builder for presto db and uh, as amit mentioned i'm a data guy uh, working in uh, ranges of industries a uh, presto evangelist since 2014 and this is one of the pictures february 27 2014 where the first meet of presto was organized here at jacksonville florida and from that time onwards we had many implementations of presto and it is a proud privilege to share some of the good feedbacks the customers are giving about the scale and the unifying capability of presto one from one of the largest insurers and another from the largest bank in the world in terms of number of customers so uh, it is an exciting journey however uh, always you know in the innovations there are possibilities for improvements so some of the questions that i used to get uh, we used to get rather is that you know is it only the terminal screen where you want to write the queries and then look at the catalogs and all um, can i not have a nice ui and immediately i looked at the resources for presto db which is available in our uh, website and you can see uh, yanagashima you can look at um, uh, metabase you can look at apache superset etc etc and uh, you have got mysql workbench uh, SQL developer etc kind of tools for individually connecting to the databases but is there a possibility for getting a holistic view of all individual systems rather than a monolithic view and that is where the innovation started and uh, uh, you know is it possible that we can do the drag and drop queries we can create the uh, diagrams and uh, of course uh, to simplify the work as we are all belonging to the open source world is there any open source to start with is what uh, we we, uh, we contemplated and uh, we got a simple tool uh, called sqlio which is uh, uh, you know hosted in sourceforge and uh, i looked at the code pretty stable and uh, i thought that okay leverage that and then start building this particular tool so let's straight away jump into a particular demo so welcome to the presto uh, ui which is uh, you know the bread and butter of almost all of us where you have the ui and inside the ui you can write all the commands in order to get all the catalogs you get all the catalogs from there and if suppose you want to find out uh, the schemas from a particular uh, a system you write that particular query and uh, if you want to get the tables then you go on and go forth what if there are so many tables available in your organization manually going through these individual queries and then getting the data is a little bit cumbersome as you can believe so comes the drag and drop query builder and this is how the ui will look like as you can see I already created a connection to the underlying Presto DB server, and you can see that the connection is available and it is ready. All you need to do is to click on the Metadata Explorer. You will see a top part on the left hand side where a skeleton of your SQL structure is being provided. And if you click on this particular button, you will see all the catalogs and all the schemas automatically appearing there and uh, we have eliminated the appearance of metadata schemas like information schema or system tables etc only the relevant catalogs and remember that if suppose you are using the ldap authentication the user id and password with the presto db then the corresponding entries only will be appearing here and let, let us start building it. I am going to look at the schema from MySQL. And there is a table. Uh, there are four tables, in fact. And I want to select the employees table. And look at that. The employees table is now onto the canvas. Now, I want to select an, another database. As uh, Tim mentioned today morning, you have the Oracle connector. You can configure the Oracle connector. And let's select the jobs table. And now, wow, this is a beautiful screen where multiple systems multiple catalogs are coming into one canvas 
whether you use Todd or SQL developer or any kind of tool, even Metabase, you will be able to connect to only one catalog at a time. And you will be able to see only the tables under that particular catalog, whereas here it is the polyglot view of your organization. All the data sources are appearing in one canvas. And now you start selecting you what all you want. For example, I want all these particular fields from this particular uh, data. And look at the left hand side as you select the query is getting built. And now let us join the MySQL tables job ID with the Oracle tables job ID. So simple. And I have not used the keyboard yet. And you can see that we have created a query. And once the query is available, and you can apply all the functions and whatever you work, you can think of. You can add where conditions. You can apply subquery all. And as you are doing it, you will see that the query is getting built on the left hand side and is getting more and more uh, you know, uh, uh, enlarged as, as you go and select it. And now let's click on this particular tag below called the syntax. And I'm going to click on that. You see the PrestoDB query is being built. And, uh, and now it is ready for execution. And you can just run on this particular query so that you get all the data. But uh, just let's wait for a minute. Is this data important? Yes, data is very important. But what is more important for a special class of people is not data alone, but the meanings about that particular data. What is the distribution of the data? How the data is skewed? What are the correlations of this particular data? So what we have done is that we have integrated a profiler to this particular result set rather than hitting presto db with another hundreds of queries you just click on this particular button and watch for a second what is happening it is going to open a browser and that browser is going to show you the complete profiled output of this particular data that you have selected the statistics about the data you are getting how many numerical variables, how many categorical variables are being selected. And you get a distribution of this particular data. And if you come down, you see the interactions of the data. For example, if you look at employee ID versus the maximum salary, you see that there are very few employees with the maximum salary. You get a kind of relationship for your data. And more importantly, we have provided five most famous correlation algorithms as the result. And you can just look at the correlations, etc. The bread and butter for any machine learning and AI developer in order to look at the relationship between the dependent variables and then drop the variables, impute it or do the one hot encoding or, or a kind of other balancers, etc. on your data. If you look at warnings, you will see the cardinality of that particular data. And from there, you can uh, you know, build the more and more efficient algorithms. And, uh, and imagine if suppose this particular facility is not there, what you could have done is that you could have individually pulled all the data frames into your Spark code or into your Python code using PyHive. And then you might have individually dealt with all these data sources. And that I call as a posteriori composition, which is an anti pattern if PrestoDB is available. But do an a priori unification, which means that before your Python or Spark code, create a PrestoDB cluster so that the heavy lifting of the data and the aggregation and the unification of data is being done by PrestoDB rather than giving to a, a, a consuming application. And uh, uh, if you want to know more about this, please read my article, Ultimate Duo in Distributed Computing, PrestoDB running on Spark. Thanks to Andrew Rosa and team for helping me out with the Presto on Spark commit as well. And uh, that's all from me. There are some things to be done for this particular code. I want to change the parser to incorporate all the latest features, then want to support the standard custom and ML functions to this particular tool. 
and as you have seen today morning uh, running PrestoDB on Spark is a great innovation to the PrestoDB uh, foundation and, and, and uh, we would like to integrate that as well to the UI. The code is completely available as Sigma Presto on GitHub. Please fork, join, make it better and more useful so that we get the siloed data sources into a, 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 a kind of unified world. And uh, very glad and happy to be here Thanks Presto Foundation and thanks to the community for making this particular tool one of the best. Thank you. Thank you, Ravi. Thank you. Love your presentation, love the energy, and love all the work you're doing. You are the Presto community. You know, this is what makes Presto great is people like you and your passion for the product. So thank you. You know, stay around. Uh, you know, if people have questions, do answer them on the chat. And I will, uh, you know, start bringing the next speaker up.